Hi, welcome to the module Python for Data Science. Many a times, we often wish to repeat a particular task. So, for example, we wish to print Python is awesome thousand times. Should we write the print command thousand times? As it turns out, no. Python provides looping constructs to help repeat a task. We will be talking about a particular looping construct called for loop. A sample for loop in Python looks like this. So, you might notice this is quite a different syntax than the for loop in other languages. So, for example, for loop in Java looks like this, where a variable is initialized first, then there is a condition followed by the increment operator or the decrement, whatever be the case. Then here comes the statement. So, how a particular loop goes is first the variable is initialized, then the condition is checked. The statements are executed, then the value of the variable is updated, again the condition is checked, and this loop goes on and on again till this condition turns out to be false. But this is not how for loop work in Python. For loop requires iterables. So what are iterables? For example, in this case, for i in range 1000, what range 1000 does is, it creates a sequence, which starts from 0 and ends at 999. So what for loop does is, for loop picks each of these values in the sequence and executes this statement. So first for loop picks this 0, executes python is awesome, then it picks 1, executes python is awesome, 2 and so on till it reaches the end of the sequence. So this is how for loops work in python. Next, we'll going to implement these for loops inside Jupyter Notebook in the next video. Thank you.